Thank you, Alex, and thank you, Google. I'm not sure you're going to be getting the mug. I think Brian has you beat so far, but good job. <laughs> Um, so, Google can tell you everything you need to know under the sun. However, the one thing Google can tell you is top 10 things that law student volunteers learn and observe from working at an HMBA conference for four days. So, if you would please welcome to the stage Leo, Steve, Elsie, Nicole, and Diana. So we're going to do top 10 things they observed this week at the HMBA. Can we have a drum roll, please? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Number 10. That all you need to do to get your CLE credits is just scan in and walk away. Number nine. Having conference attendees ask about the after party, only to find out that they meant the after after party. Number eight. The only reason to miss St. Patty's Day is for an HNBA gala. Number seven. That random tourists will sit there and listen to your unsolicited advice when you think they're HNBA members. Number six. Realizing that the HNBA conference is way more fun than Napava and Anaba. Okay, now we have to make this the most fun night ever to prove that right. <laughs> so what are we on? Number five? Number five. That if you're coming to this conference, you better know how to dance. Number four. Definitely looking forward to President Mason's outfits and random wardrobe changes. So I guess that means we better see a wardrobe change midway through. <laughs> Number three. I'm tired about hearing about Miami. Has everyone been hearing about Miami? I think we're topping it though. And number two. You can go home with 20 new water bottles if you walk around the exhibition booths enough times. And last but not least, number one. Our Darcy is our favorite HMBA staffer. <laughs> okay, I did not pay them to say that. <laughs> Thank you all. Big, give a big round of applause for our top 10 law student observations.